On the air at 5, we continue to follow this developing story here. This afternoon, police provided excerpts of a body camera video of an officer-involved shooting that left a mother and her baby dead. The video we have is edited by police. So this incident happened almost three weeks ago at an independence apartment complex. KSHB 41 News reporter Abby Dodge has been following the story ever since it happened. She joins us now, Abby. Kevin and Caitlin, I've been asking Independence Police questions since this incident about what exactly happened that day to Maria Pike and her daughter Destiny. Today, police provided excerpts of body camera video that show some of those details. We want to note they did not provide the full body camera video and refused to answer any questions. Before we show you some of the video, we want to warn you it includes the moments leading up to the shooting. You might find the video you're about to see disturbing, but we have decided to show the video to provide some answers to the community as to what happened that day. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Okay, can we put the baby down, come in here and talk and figure out what's going on? Now much of this edited five minute video is calm, but the situation escalated very quickly. We see the mother Maria Pike holding her daughter Destiny in the apartment's back bedroom. After about 10 minutes of talking to the officer, she then moved past the officer to her bed. There's a moment of silence before Pike grabs a large knife that police say was concealed. The video shows her then moving towards police with the knife before gunfire. Reminder, this is a five minute edited video Independence Police deems as relevant. IPD won't answer any questions, citing the ongoing investigations that Blue Springs Police is conducting. Ahead of the release of this video, I spoke with Maria Pike's twin sister, Nina Book. Nina calls her sister Masha and says that while Masha loved her daughter, at times she struggled with her mental health postpartum. Again, the story you're about to see does include excerpts of the body camera footage we showed you, and it might be disturbing. Baby Cry Recording Studios presenting the inspiring bookie. This cell phone video of Maria and her daughter Destiny is how Nina Book remembers her sister. A playful mother. Okay, Pookie, what are we going to sing today? What album are we going to make? It makes what happened on November 7th confusing to Nina. It makes no sense. And she told me how excited she was uh, to be with Destiny. And she told me good things about Mitchell as her partner. Nina says in one of their final conversations, Maria opened up about her struggles after birth. She recognized her weakness. She recognized uh, what hit her. Nina says Maria was on medication and feeling better before she died. She told me that the symptoms of postpartum would, would hit her out of nowhere at times. On November 7th, Destiny's grandmother and Maria got into an argument over who was best suited to take care of Destiny. The grandmother called police. As seen in excerpts of body camera video provided by Independence Police, when officers showed up, the grandma was sitting on the sidewalk outside of the complex. When police entered the apartment, the incident escalated. In the excerpts, Maria is seen grabbing what police call a concealed knife and moving at officers. The video does not show what happened next, but police say an officer opened fire, killing Maria and Destiny. My mind as a twin can't comprehend that I'm not going to see her or hear her again. Over the last few weeks, I've made requests for records related to the officer-involved shooting. In the days leading up to it, police were called to the apartment to check on baby Destiny. Records show they stopped by on November 1st and twice on November 6th. Destiny's parents missed a Division of Family Services hearing that day. I was expecting Masha and Destiny to be together for years and years. While in town for the funeral, Nina walked through the apartment where her sister died. I immediately just, I just went to the bed, I sat down, because I, as a twin, I want to feel what she felt at her last breath. I want to see what she saw. <laughs> I was just messaging back and forth with Nina and she said she was overwhelmed watching that police body cam video today. The Blue Springs Police Department is still investigating this case. A spokesperson told us today they are aware of today's video release and are still working towards completing and submitting the investigation to prosecutors. Abby Dodge, KSHB 41 News.